Before I even start the video, I just, I feel like I need to apologize. I just wanna take a moment and apologize in advance to the parents of any young children who may come across this tutorial because in today's video, I'm going to show you how to turn a recorder into some bagpipes. Yes, today we are going to be DIYing a recorder and a trash bag into a bagpipe. I keep wanting to say a set of bagpipes or a pair of bagpipes because I feel like you call them bagpipes, plural, but I think it's like a single bagpipe. I don't really know. If you know, let me know in the comments. But anyways, we're gonna be making a bagpipe, bagpipe, set of bagpipes, whatever we wanna call it. My sister actually found instructions for these online years ago before I ever had a YouTube channel and I always said I wanted to try them. I'm kind of a musically inclined person, so hey, DIY bagpipes sound pretty great, but I never got around to the project until today. So let's jump into the tutorial and then I will play a little song for you and mesmerize you with my truly amazing bagpipe playing skills. To make a DIY bagpipe, we need a couple basic materials. First, and probably most important, I'm going to be using two recorders. This will allow us to play melodies on our bagpipe. You'll need a trash bag, which will be the bag of the bagpipe. You'll need some kind of tubing to be the mouthpiece. This is a straw from my Contigo water bottle. It came with some extra ones, so I'm using one of these for the mouthpiece. And lastly, for assembly purposes, we'll need scissors and some tape. Now I opted for a smaller size trash bag, so I'm not going to trim mine down at all, but if you went with a large kitchen size trash bag, you may want to trim it down some. The first step of assembling our bagpipe is to attach our mouthpiece to the opened end of the bag. So basically I'm gonna wrap this up here, go a couple inches into the bag so I can get a good seal, and I'm gonna go around it with my tape. Feel like I've got a pretty good seal there. Now that I have my mouthpiece attached, I'm going to tape down about a quarter of the top of this open end of my bag. I'm just gonna go tape on the one side, and fold it over and tape the other side as well. So along this edge right here has been taped closed. Now we're going to attach our first recorder, which is going to be the drone that will just play a single note. And the goal is to attach this on here so that way we don't have air leaking out, but also so that way we're not blocking this or this on our recorder. So for this step, I'm going to do a few smaller pieces of tape. Tape it along the top, come to the underside and tape along the bottom. That ought to do it. And then we're gonna tape up the rest of this open bag. So again, I'm just gonna get a piece of tape. That's the length. Put it on the top side and fold it to the underside. At this point, I'm gonna pause and just check to make sure that my tape is sealing everything up pretty well. So I'm just gonna blow in through the mouthpiece and inflate the bag and see if we have any leaking. It seems to be inflating pretty well, so I'm gonna say we don't have much leaking going on. Last bit of assembly is to add our second recorder, and this is the one that we will use to play notes and play a melody. So this is the open end of my bag where we've attached the mouthpiece and the drone. I'm gonna come along the side of the bag with the mouthpiece and come down to the corner, and my bag, just the way it's made, doesn't quite have a corner. We'll just attach it somewhere down here. And to do so, I'm just gonna cut a little opening, insert my recorder, and again, tape it closed. Again, make sure the tape and bag aren't blocking any of the parts of the recorder. And now at this point, our bagpipe is assembled. So here is the finished Bagpipe, I still don't know, I still wanna call it a set of bagpipes, but I don't think that's right, but I feel weird just saying the finished bagpipe. Anyways, here is the finished instrument, and let me show you how to play it. So the first step is you need to inflate the bag of the bagpipe, and I'm gonna do this part sitting down because it's gonna take a lot of air to fill this up, and I tend to pass out when I blow up balloons too fast, and I'm home by myself right now, so I definitely don't wanna be passing out. So anyways, I'm gonna get this inflated, and then I'll show you how to play. And take breaks if you need to while inflating it, so that way you don't pass out either. Woo, head brush. Okay, that's good enough for now. Now, the way this is designed to play is you inflate the bag through the mouth hole here. This is the 
I'll pop up with the word. This is basically just, it's a drone. It plays a single note and you just kind of prop on your shoulder. And then this one down here at the bottom is the one that you're supposed to play. However, I was messing around with this and I forgot that this is a lesser quality recorder than the white one. So what I should have done is I should have swapped the spots where they were at, but because I didn't feel like doing that, I turned this one into the one that I play and this one's going to be my drone. So with the drone, you can tape off some of the holes. I just use some scotch tape to select whatever note you want it to play. And then we will actually play the recorder on this one here. So if I were playing on the red one and we're letting the white one be the drone, I would have it over my shoulder like this. Grab the back here, play on this one and be like, Hopefully my mic got that well, but I'm gonna hold it differently and play on this one down here. And I'm just gonna leave this one kind of like lying on the ground here. Cause as I said, I'm playing sitting down so I don't pass out while inflating my bagpipe. And honestly, watch a video of someone who actually knows what they're doing if you wanna really learn like proper technique for this. But anyways, I'm gonna play you the most stirring rendition of hot cross buns you've probably ever heard. I'm truly talented. So there you go, that is the project. I know this is a little bit different of a DIY than I normally do on my channel, but it was a project I was going to do anyways, and I thought it might bring you guys some joy and humor to see me make these and also attempt playing them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, we'll be getting back to doing more like DIY arts and crafts DIY versus like instruments made out of trash. But anyway, I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Happy crafting. Okay, if this DIY failed for you, there is a backup way to play the bagpipes. Let me entertain you to the sound of Amazing Grace. Okay, you get the idea, I kind of fell apart there. Catch you next time.